Hi, I'm JD. Today we're going to be looking at equations. We're going to look at the concepts solving uh, linear equations and then we're going to look at an example. So when it comes to linear equations your goal is to get the variable all by itself. To do that, and these are not necessarily uh, steps you could kind of think of as a flow. Uh, if you might have to do step one first, but you might not. You might actually end up doing step two first. So, but in general, these are the steps that you're going to follow when it comes to solving linear equations. So step one is to simplify both sides. Step two is to add or subtract both sides to get the variables to one side and your constants to the other side. And then step three is you want to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. Uh, you can also divide off the coefficients. And then step number four is to verify. That means to plug your solution back in. Now key questions to ask yourself while you're doing this. Uh, what am I solving for? What operations being done? How do I undo that? So for example, if you're adding, you would undo that by subtraction. If you're multiplying to undo that, you would do division. When we talk about both sides, we're talking about both sides of an equal sign. So you have the left side and then the right side. And what you want to kind of have in mind as an image is you want to balance the scales. So whatever you do one side, you add weight to one side to balance it, you got to add weight to the other side or the other scale. So let's look at an example. We have uh, 3x plus 4 equals negative 11. So we want to get rid of this plus 4. So to do that, we're going to subtract both sides by 4. We're going to do the opposite. Notice that we did not have to simplify both sides because both sides were already simplified. So that cancels. Uh, that's 3x plus 0, which is 3x. And then negative 11 minus 4 is negative 15. And then we want to divide that 3 from both sides. We want to get rid of that because it's 3 times x. We want to do the opposite. So we divide both sides by 3. The threes cancel, that's 1x, and 1 times x is x. Negative 15 over 3 is negative 5. And we could plug that in. So that's 3 times negative 5, which is negative 15, plus 4, which gives us a negative 11. And that's it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, uh, please email me. Uh, at jdmathguy at gmail.com. You can also check out my blog, mathtalkwithjd.blogspot.com. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.